Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm back again with a movie review. Today, I'll be talking about the brand new DC movie, Shazam. Now, this movie stars Zachary Levi and Asher Angel, splitting roles as the main title character, Shazam. Also stars Mark Strong as the villain in the movie, I guess you could say, Dr. Savannah. Now, this movie is way better than it had any business being. It is hilarious. I pretty much laughed through the whole thing. Had a great story, you know, all the way through. We can even start with the beginning of the movie, and that's when Dr. Savannah was a boy himself, and he was chosen by the wizard. But when he was down there with the wizard, and the wizard was taking him through all his tests and all this, he failed. And the wizard told him something that haunted him for the rest of his life. He told him, not only are you not worthy to be, you know, the next in line to have my power, but you'll never be worthy. So Dr. Savannah, as a boy, carried that through his whole life. He wanted to find the wizard. He wanted to prove that he was worthy. So that was his story. And I think that was a good job of giving him a background as a villain and not making him some sort of bland villain with, you know, oh, he just wants power or he just wants that item that the good guy wants so he can use it in a bad way. You know, so I think that was a good job of giving the villain some depth. Now, as Zachary Levi or Asher Angel, you know, they took on the power of Shazam. I think they did a good job of giving you some hilarious scenes of him using his powers. They gave him a good story arc of not necessarily being a superhero at the beginning. He was using his powers to like get money, doing magic tricks at the park, you know, different things like that that you think a kid would do if all of a sudden he had superpowers. Uh, so he went to the titty bar, you know, to the strip club. That was hilarious. He was in there for like three minutes and came right back out. And that's why they went to the ATM because he needed more money. So I thought that was hilarious. They had a lot of good scenes in there where you'll just laugh out loud no matter what. And then you get to the action of the movie. The action was few and far in between, but it matched with the movie. I mean, when they gave you action scenes, it was cool, you know, creative, thoughtful action scenes, but it wasn't necessarily an action-packed movie where it was just every, you know, every other scene. No, I think they did a good job of blending it in, giving you good, well-timed fights with the villain and the superhero, with Shazam running half the time, because he's a kid fighting against a grown man in his mind, so he was pretty much running away, didn't want to fight Dr. Savannah. So, again, some hilarious parts right there. Now we get towards the end of the movie, and this is where a spoiler will kick in. Okay, so Shazam's name is Billy Batson. So when Billy Batson was down there talking to the wizard about to receive his powers, the wizard gave him like a little riddle about opening up his heart. And as you can see behind him, there's all these chairs. So by the end of the movie, Billy had became really close with his foster kids, you know, the rest of the family that was there with him, which was a good story in itself. You know, those kids were actually great in the movie, but he became so close to them, he realized what the wizard was telling him in that riddle, and he thought about all those chairs. So he remembered it's supposed to be a team. So he had all of his brothers and sisters grab on that wizard staff with him and then say Shazam, and all five of them transformed into, I guess, adult versions of themselves with their superpowers and everything. So you had the whole team with Shazam costumes on, you know, different versions or different colors, and they all had different superpowers. Um, they had the spe speed of Achilles, the lightning of Zeus, the strength of Hercules, you know, all different powers for all different of the, I guess you call it five or six of them. So yeah, that was a really good ending to the movie because you had about a five or 10 minute action scene where all of them are just running around using their powers, having very funny comedic scenes, you know, one liners. I mean, that was a really great ending to the movie and it caught me by surprise because I didn't see it coming the whole time. And so when they all said Shazam and everybody transformed and they start kicking all the monsters asses and kicking Dr. Servana's asses, like it was just a great ending to the movie, had me really excited. This movie was probably up there on par with Aquaman, but I would say even more funnier than Aquaman. I would put this movie right there with Thor Ragnarok, just with how many times you're gonna laugh out loud watching it. The action scenes were pretty much in line with what you would want in this type of movie because they had a story to tell and they told that story, but in the end, they, they did a good job of blending in cool action scenes and cool, I guess, instances of Shazam using his powers the way a kid would. So I think all in all, the people who wrote this movie and produced it and planned it out, they deserve 
a fucking pat on the back for knowing how to lay out the format of a movie and blending in so many different things in once. Like this little girl, her name is Darla. She stole the show. She's like Goose from uh, Captain Marvel. All her lines are just perfect on point, hilarious. There was one scene at the end of the movie where a monster was holding her and he had his like tongue out acting like he was gonna eat her. And then the doctor said, no, never mind, don't do it. And so the monster let the little girl go. The little girl turns around and smacks the monster on the arm and the monster starts, you know, crying a little bit. And it was just stuff like that that just make you laugh out loud. The whole cast and crew work perfectly together. I like the, the kid version and the adult versions of these superheroes. They did a great job casting. Zachary Levi made me want to see a part two to this movie. His character, Billy Basson, was, I guess you could say, on the story arc of being an anti-hero to being an all-around superhero by the end of the movie. Because at the beginning, as a kid, he was doing some pretty much illegal shit, you know? But he was smart. He was doing it for a good purpose, I guess you could say. So by the end of the movie, he just became a complete superhero. So they had a good story arc for him. I don't know how they cram so much into a two hour movie to make you care about so many different characters, to help you follow along to so many different storylines that were going on and to give you a well-rounded good story with great comedy and great action. DC, you deserve a pat on the back for this and I give you much props and much respect for putting out two movies back to back with Aquaman and now Shazam that were top notch comic book movies and gave me exactly what I came for. So thank you for that. I highly recommend this movie for you if you're a comic book movie fan. I give this movie about an 8 out of 10. I damn sure think you should go see it. But anyway, y'all, that's just my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get a good debate going about what's going on with these comic book movies. You know we got Avengers Endgame coming up. So let's get a good debate going on that. Anyway, other than that, I'll catch your ass out there in this universe. Peace. You literally did the opposite of what a superhero is supposed to do. You're him. You're the hero. You're welcome for not getting robbed. I'm Batman. Get him back in!